Hi, I'm Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to continue to walk you through how to set up your QuickBooks desktop file. For this example, I'm using QuickBooks Premiere 2020. In the last video, we set up our QuickBooks shell. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to customize your chart of accounts. On the Windows menu at the top of your screen, go ahead and click on List. Once you've opened List, come down to the first option and click on Chart of Accounts. When you open up your chart of accounts, you're going to see the default list of chart of accounts. What you're looking at here is the default list for a consulting business. On the left hand side you see the names of the accounts and then on the right hand side you see the types of accounts that they are. One of the things that you might notice is that our only income is consulting income and we don't have any bank accounts at all. Let's go ahead and add a few things that we know for sure we're going to want for our business. To add something I'm going to click on the lower left hand corner. There's the word account. When I click on the word account in the lower left hand corner it brings up a pop-up. I'm going to click on the word new. Let me go ahead and add a bank. So on the left hand side, I'm going to select the circle that represents bank. And then on the right, I'll click on the blue continue. I now have uh, add a new account screen. At the top of my screen, I can see the account type that I'm going to add as a bank account. And then account name, we're just going to call it checking. Keep it real simple. I'm not going to add a description. I'm not going to add an account number or routing number and I'm not going to assign a tax line. I'm going to choose save and close at the bottom of my screen. This pop-up says do you want to set up bank feeds and we will set up bank feeds but not in this video so I'm going to click no. So now when I look at my chart of accounts I can see I have a checking account. I can see that I have the one account called consulting income. Let me go ahead and add a second income. I'm going to click on account and then new. I'm going to choose income on the left hand side and the blue continue button on the right hand side. I can see at the top of my screen that I'm adding an income account. If I had selected the wrong account type I could just fix it here. For account name I'm going to say project income. So generally our make-believe company has consulting income but sometimes we have project income and I want to track it separately. I'm going to go ahead and choose save and close. Next I want to take a look at the expenses. One of the expenses I see is computer and internet expenses. I kind of feel like this is a relic from back in the day when it was something abnormal to have computer or internet expense. Oftentimes an internet expense is wrapped up with our office rent and we don't separate computer expense from regular office supplies. This is an example of an account I'm going to go ahead and turn off or hide. So I've selected the account. I'm going to come down in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to click on the word account and I'm going to choose delete account. It says are you sure you want to delete it? I say yes or in this case okay. When I look at insurance I can see I have a sub account called general liability insurance. I know for my business in addition to having general liability I also carry professional liability. Let me go ahead and show you how to add an account that is a sub account. In the lower left hand corner I'll click on account and then I'll go to new. I'm going to choose expense. I'm going to say professional liability. I'm going to say is sub account of and then I'll choose insurance. Save and close. Now when I look at my chart of accounts I can see that I have insurance expense and underneath that I have two types of insurance. It's not necessary to create sub accounts. It's 100% optional. Let me change this office supplies. Let's pretend that I like it to say office expense and not office supplies. I have it highlighted. I'm going to click on account on the bottom of my screen. I'm going to choose edit account. And I'm just going to rename it. So it says office supplies but I prefer the words office expense. Save and close. That's it. If you find that there's an account missing that you wish you had in here so you could track something, please feel free to add it. If you find there's an account here that doesn't apply to your business, feel free to delete it. 
Let me show you how to add account numbers just in case you want to know. I generally don't use account numbers, but some people do and I wanna make sure you know where to find them. You'll click on edit at the top of your screen. You'll go down to preferences at the bottom of that list. On the left hand side, you'll click on accounting. And then on the right hand side, you'll click on the tab that says company preferences. In the first box, you'll click the little check box to the left of use account numbers. And on the right hand side, you'll click OK. This automatically adds account numbers to most of your accounts. I can see project income, professional liability, and checking don't have account numbers, but I can easily add them. If I needed to add an account number, I would just pick the line that needs to be edited, click on account, click on edit account. In the upper right hand corner, add the account number that I'd like, click save and close. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box, send me an email, or schedule an appointment. Thank you so much. Thank you.